Hey what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a tuning guide for the McLaren MP4-4. Now the main thing we're doing here is basically downgrading a car which makes this tune much much easier than it is to upgrade a car and get it fully set up. So pretty simple and straightforward this one. The only downside though, this car costs 8 million from the legendary dealer. As you can see, the PP is 895 from standard and we're gonna try and basically downgrade it to the 800 barrier. Now, it's gonna be quite easy and quite straightforward and doesn't require you to spend much money in terms of tuning parts. And obviously it doesn't require much time in terms of tuning the build so what we're going to do we're going to run racing hard tires now this is a must and this is the only set of tires you need for this body height is going to be 52 and 57 anti-roll bar is going to be five and five dampening ratio compression is 30 and 30 dampening ratio expansion is 40 40 natural frequency is 5.0 and 5.0 negative camber angle 2.3 and 0.3 toe angle 0.60 inwards so just make sure the icon is inwards and again at the rear is 0.18 inwards then the initial torque is 10 acceleration sensitivity next at 40 and then finally braking sensitivity is at 20. In terms of transmission i have not changed it for this um, so just leave it as standard ballast is going to be 119 the position is going to be minus 50 and the power restrictor well thankfully we're not going to have to touch that in terms of downforce at the front i've got 901 and then at the rear it's pretty much near max at 1798 nothing else needs changing feel free to pause in terms of the event we're going to be using this is my first time back here since update 1.20 and update 1.21 obviously arrived so it's the sardinia road track and it's the world touring car 800 so go ahead enter it and you should be all good to go so the best way to run this event is put your fuel mix at four i recommend having traction off um, i just put it down from one to zero but it is completely up to you um, once you've got it in fuel mix 4 you're not actually, actually going to have to you know fiddle about with it or change it at any point however last off if you've kind of got some fuel reserves left feel free to kind of turn the engine up and obviously get those last few laps done as quickly as possible so this is the first time I've run this event since update uh, 1.20 and 1.21 arrived and there's been a few kind of major changes that kind of make the grind a little bit more difficult here in terms of you know the racing so okay let's get the basics out of the way i recommend just run easy if you're grinding for credits because you know you don't want to make a mistake and it costs you too much time or you lose a position and you've wasted you know 25 minutes of your life so i do recommend that in terms of the clean race bonus again you will only lose it if there's a yellow flag on track however i am still yet to see a yellow flag here for a long long time and i mean in months uh, not just a few races or so so yeah i've not seen one in such a long time in terms of the kind of major changes there is big big changes to the way you receive damage as you will see the lightest taps will cause your car to get damaged like here i'm running with damage and it's going to make the car a lot more kind of twitchy and uh, kind of nervous to drive so just be really really cautious and that is the main issue with sardinia is it is such a kind of enclosed track up the top end uh, where it's quite tight and twisty uh, try and just kind of time your overtakes to the best you can to try and avoid damage but it is inevitable you will take some at some point obviously tire degradation is now more of an issue however i find that this car does not really suffer from it pretty much at all um, in terms of you know taking the lead realistically it should be around between lap two and lap three as you can see here on lap three i'm about to just dive into the lead obviously giving myself a bit of damage along the way because i don't like to make things easy for myself and um, so i'm fully to blame there however i had a bit of a change in my run and i don't know if, if it's permanent but i actually had fraga uh, jump into the pits at the end of his third lap portilla he is going to then jump in in his usual time which is the end of lap four for him so no changes there 
So I don't know if it was just me or I'm actually really, you know, they've changed this. I noticed I was lapping really early, around about lap six. Um, but obviously it's been a while since I've run Sardinia. Um, so it's difficult to kind of memorize when I was usually doing it previously. Um, on the end of the fifth lap, most of the grid is then going to box in. So again, you're just basically stretching your legs at this point. However, you will probably run into a huge pack of cars, which was here for me at the beginning of lap seven. They're all pretty much bundled up. So again, I'm kind of at risk of taking damage and losing a lot of time, especially now my tires are beginning to kind of wear off and the pace is beginning to kind of drop. So again, I'm just kind of trying to time it um, as well as I can to basically avoid taking any damage and basically landing myself in hot water. So as you can see, it's a really tight pack. They seem to be sticking to each other like glue. However, obviously I know I've got a straight line advantage. I also have a advantage through the corners. So once I'm on that big straight, I'm basically just gonna open it up and uh, work my way through. Most of the cars doing pretty well to kind of stay out of my way as I lap them. We are then gonna take our first pit stop at the end of lap eight. You can do it at the end of lap seven, but I'd recommend the end of lap eight to basically do the longest stint first. Um, however, you are basically gonna to have to take another set of hards because for some reason, uh, GT decided, well, sorry, Polyphony decided they didn't want to allow hards to last a whole race. Um, so you will have to box and take a new set of tires. We're also gonna fill the car to full, not to the little diamond icon. This is to give us some reserves at the end, just in case, because sometimes you like to open it up on the last few laps to go for that fastest lap. Um, in terms of returning to the track, as you can see, the massive group has just gone past us. Um, just be aware um, of the AI, you know, going absolutely crazy down there. So we're actually gonna have to do the lapping again so again, I'm just kind of timing it as well as I can and uh, trying to work my way through this little pack that is going off. Um, they're around about mid position in the race. So yeah, bit of a nightmare to have to do it all over again. However, we're gonna try and do it as nice and cleanly as possible. As you can see, I'm just sort of taking advantage of where my car's strengths are. So straight line speed and as fast as I can through the corners. Um, this car is a little bit slippy on exit because we are about to find that out pretty soon. As also, Polyphony decided to change how the heat goes into tires. So we're on cold hards and I've just spun it up a little bit too much. This mistake really cost me probably around about 20 to 25 seconds in the long run. So pretty frustrating, um, you know, so just be careful on your uh, couple of outlaps really. We're eventually gonna overtake the whole grid by lap 12, even after our little mistake. We currently have a fastest lap of a 137.4. Then we are just gonna go straight across the finish. I didn't bother turning the engine up, but I could have really you know, done that and uh, shaved a bit more time off. However, with having that mistake in this run, I decided it probably wasn't really worth it. So overall, we did it in a 25, 38.5. Now I 100% believe this car can get into that 25, uh, 24 minute barrier. And um, we did a fastest lap of a 137.4, obviously. So really not too bad. There's a lot of pace to be had in this car and it's very good for being a one stop. It's 727,500 for around about 25 minutes of your time. So very straightforward, very easy money making method. Now, the only real downside, like I've said, is the 8 million price tag. However, it is worth it in the long run. Trust me, I feel like this is this car is going to become a staple of the money grind around Sardinia. Um, so trust me, if you've got a spare 8 million, I do recommend kind of using this car as a bit of an investment. Going ahead, again, it's 800 pp and basically just grinding away because it's definitely one of the easier, more straightforward methods currently in the game. So I just want to give a big shout to the channel members, Wilmot, Vincent and Ticketbait for their continued support to the channel. If you want to become a channel member today, well, there should basically be a button somewhere on the video. Um, it basically gives your builds priority if you send them to me so they will get featured before anything else. Donation links are in the description down below. If you want to donate and help basically put back into the channel, it all goes towards improving content. So I am massively appreciative of any you know kind little donations that I get. 
don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn them notifications on to stay up to date with all the best of Gran Turismo 7 again thank you for this continued support it really does mean the world to me and thank you to everyone that turned up to the stream last night i absolutely had a blast so i'll see you in the next one guys cheers peace